Hi, welcome to the world famous gum wall. Uh, this wall is the second germiest place on the planet. Blarney Stone was number one. Anyway, I'm Jay Hitt, the managing director of Unexpected Productions. We've been doing improvisation uh, here for about 20 years now. Um, as a matter of fact, this place is dedicated to uh, improvisation. It's all we do. So I've been acting here for, wow, about 19 years now. Uh, I've been managing it for about five years. Well, the Market Theater holds about 250 people, uh, 250 seats, and there's a bar here, a little lounge area. The shows we have, they go from Wednesday through Sunday. Uh, Saturday there's three shows, like 7, 8.30, and uh, 10.30. We've had Ryan Stiles from Whose Line Is It Anyway? And we've had uh, Joel McHale from uh, the Hollywood show Community. Uh, Unexpected Productions uh, began in 1983. Uh, so it's been around for, uh, as of right now, at least 28 years. Welcome to the illustrious Tacoma Spa. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, this was a gift from my wife. She thought it might do me good uh, to relax. She says I'm too... Fat. Fat. <laughs> they started with a format called Theater Sports, which came out of Canada. Keith Johnstone created it. Then they worked their way into a, a thing called long form. Uh, and long form is the kind of like an improvised play, think of it that way, uh, where you can build a narrative. Ladies, say hello to your new roomie. Slat him. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? Slat him? Slat him. Is it slat him? Slat him. You run a whole series of scenes with only one suggestion uh, from the audience. They yell at something and you do a whole, whole long thing on that. <laughs> Don't let the morning catch you singing. Oh, God, I have a beautiful book. Oh, Gordon Reeks, the failed actor. <laughs> There's also stylistic uh, uh, things that we do as well, like um, certain genres. Like, we'll do a scene in the style of Shakespeare or, or of Bollywood uh, or um, uh, TV show. I, I mean, it's endless because it's improv. It's collaborate with somebody else to create these scenes spontaneously uh, using everything around you, using your environment, using the audience. you all just come out and talk to you a little bit. <laughs> okay, so uh, anyway, yeah, and really actually, uh, and I'm just curious, like, uh, where, like, where are you guys from? Are you one big family? Where stand-up comedy is usually scripted. I mean, they have to be kind of in the moment too, dealing with audience as well, maybe hecklers. But for the most part, they're being themselves and they have a script scripted uh, bit that they do, that they've worked for years to perfect, most of them. Uh, so I'd say the big difference is one scripted, one's not. Well, that's all right. I have a big stack of Arlington flapjacks. Oh, man, I'm hungry. <laughs> My favorite family and half-family and ex-half-family. <laughs> and of course, I'm a cop, so watch it, man. Yeah, our, our biggest festival is the International uh, Festival of Improv, and we get people from all over the world. They'll come in, and they work together, so they don't do their own thing. They uh, learn, they, they take a series of workshops throughout the week, and then uh, at the very end of that week, there's shows that, that happen as well, and they're all working together from all over the, all over the world. It went to bed, and Johnny heard weird, crazy noises all night. Long and the Teddy Ruxpin came to life. The great thing is, it's just another another art form that's really unexplored in a lot of areas. For me, the biggest thing to remember is to be open. Don't be scared of anything. You you gotta just put yourself out there and and be willing to accept everything you get. And there's no wrong answers. You can make a mistake that may look like a mistake, but it actually turns into something wonderful, or it can anyway. Um, about the time you start controlling, that's when you're in trouble. 